Hey guys, I wanted to let you know we're doing an AR12 Christmas over on AR12Gaming.com. We're giving away some cool games, some AR12 merch, some cool Xbox stuff. Go check it out. Link's in the description down below. Some of you guys have been asking about, well, where's the free car for December? Well, there wasn't one. Or, or, th or, or so we thought. There's actually a secret Nissan Sylvia in the game. And if you go here, if you go here... You won't actually find it. It's not in the... Oh, these are my cars. If you go to, like, find cars, it's not actually in the list. So that's why no one was able to actually find it. How you have to get this car is you have to go back and you have to go to career. I'm, I'm following Tom's article here. But you have to go to Stories of Motorsport, Volume 1 Super Street, Challenger Series. And then you need to go Classic Compact. The 60s and 70s we have to watch the intro, or we can skip it, and then we can go buy car, uh-huh, and then, if we come down, Alan, is it there? Is it there? It is there! There's the secret Sylvia, that is the super secret Sylvia that's now in 4 to 6, so this is the only way to actually get it, for, for whatever reason, it's not in, like, the buy car list, which is really weird, but yeah, you can, uh, you can check out Alan's article of it on uh on the website and okay so once we've got the car we'll back out of here and we'll actually build the thing let's go upgrades and see what's what's available for this guy so we're sitting stock uh e-class with 150 horsepower 155 torque not too bad actually and a very very light car so we've got an rb26 not very surprising considering it's a it's a sylvia um, we've got a rally engine. I still don't know what that's from, to be quite honest. And then we've got a V8. Uh, that's normal V8. Road V8. Uh, but I think we're gonna go with an RB26 because it is a Sylvia. Um, so Twitch chat, what should we do with this? Should we drift it? I think we should. We're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys seen the S14? Hey. Hey Nick, on Twitter, you said someone driving in front of me threw something out of the window and it hit my car did your car get scratched uh no car's all good car's all good car car is all good i don't even know what it was it was just some like white thing that came flying yo it looks so cool i love how far back you sit it's got like a huge front yo ar apex racing i'll allow it it says ar it's close enough right anyways what i was saying was if you guys have seen the um the s14 i think it's a rocket bunny kit that makes it look like almost a muscle car. The front reminds me of it with those uh, with those big lights in the front. It 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 reminds me of it a little bit. Why do I already have upgrades on it? Oh, you know why I have upgrades on it already? Cause for that stupid like challenge series, it tosses bits on your car. Yeah, it sits so high. It's a rally car, boys. We're making it low. Nick, what are you getting for Christmas? That's a good question. I don't actually know. I think I'm gonna head over to the store.ar12gaming.com and pick up a nice shirt, yay! Or some stickers, yay! You can actually- oh, did you know? That stickers are now on like a little sale, they're like $2 off, I think? So if you want some stickers for like your stocking or whatever, check them out! Will the BMW i8 ever be in Forza? Uh, I would imagine so. I would totally imagine so, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Do the stickers damage the paint of your car when you put them on slash take them off again? Uh, I would not put it on paint. I would put it on your window. And we're sitting at 550 horsepower. It only has 1,800 pounds. How do you get so much money, Nick? I do a lot of Forza rewards, and I also do a lot of glitching the game, and then I do a lot of... The other thing I, is I kept getting my Forza rewards, like, multiple times for doing shit all. Um, like, you know how when you first started up the game, if you played previous Forza games, you get, like, money? You get, like, some cars, and you get some money? Well, there's sort of a reason why I own, like, three LaFerraris and three raptors and like three koenigseggs that are all identical it's because they keep giving them to me for some reason just like every month when i start up the game at some point it will give me my forza rewards again that you first get when you start up a game so that was like 15 million for me so i got 15 million three times plus all my other forza rewards that i've been getting it adds up quite a bit combine combine all, all those ways to get money with like the wheel spins and just the sheer amount you can get for like payouts and things it's, uh, it's not too bad. <laughs> Yo. It already probably does have too much power at 550-ish. Because it is so incredibly light. But we'll see. We'll see. What was the car that I was driving the other day? That was super light. 
and I had to adjust to it. Oh, it was the, it was the, it was the, um, it was the one-to-one. -one. It was the one-to-one -one with 1,300 horsepower that I had to adjust to. And the thing was, that thing was 1,000-ish pounds heavier than this. Oh my god, this works. Um, it was a thousand ish pounds heavier than this and I had to adjust to that a lot And it was just rather annoying having to adjust to it and things like that This I wanted something that like I could get in out of the box go sideways with No issue whatsoever the secret little Sylvia that I don't know anything about the Sylvia Can someone tell me something about it? That's like interesting What is this? So is it the first Sylvia? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It drifts really well, and that RB26 sounds freaking amazing! So there's that as well. Maybe by the time this video comes out, this won't be a secret Sylvia anymore, because of just the way you have to get the car. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. We'll see. At least you guys know how you can get it now. You can show off to all your friends and be like, look at this cool car I got. It is the first Sylvia. Aha, uh -huh, look how smart I am. I remember back in the day, I used to have a, a motorcycle game, and I'd use this track, and I'd come down here... And this was, like, the bit of the track I always remembered. I don't know why. I'd always remember this, like, tight bit. It was great. Was it a Datsun? I think so. When did Nissan become, or Datsun become Nissan? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question either. They put a Mark 1 Sylvia, but not an S14. What the fuck? Yo, some people must have been really mad when they saw that. Actually, I would assume right now a lot of people don't actually know this is a thing in Forza. Just because of how, how secret it is still. But... I don't know, some people, I think people are going to have reactions like that where they're going to be like, Why the hell did you put this one in? Instead of like, instead of the S14, but, no, I love this layout. This corner's really good. Leading into this corner is really good. It's like you can, you have to work to keep it wide there, and you can snap it in early, and you got to initiate really early and hold your drift there. I really like this track for drifting. I've never realized, or I've never like tried this track out before, but it's not too bad. There's a lot of bits where it's like, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of bits of this track where it's really sketchy, like, like for instance, this part where it gets all, all tight and everything. This part's a little sketchy because you can run off the track just so easily, and you can probably get spat out by that, uh, by that apex. But it's fun drifting this. It's really fun. As for the car, the car is really cool. I'm a big fan of this because it's so light. It steps out so easily, and because we didn't max out the horsepower like a crazy person. It works really, really well, actually. Let's try to do a lap of stunts. Let's try to do a lap of stunts and reverses and 360s. Last time, last stream, for whatever reason, I couldn't do 360s for the life of me. I don't know what the hell was wrong. But we'll see if I can do them now. Let's go for one right here. Like, I was going... I did that. And then... Oh, shit! That was a good one. I did that. And then I just kept spinning way too hard. I don't know what it was, but... That one was really good. Oh, shit. Oh, it's too light. It's too light. It's too light. <laughs> that one was an unintentional 360. This is going to be a fail. This is not going to be a fail. I can tell you before I get to the corner if it's going to be a fail or not. This one, I don't think so. I'll go backwards. Uh, go more backwards. Yeah, I, I killed too much speed. But we'll go for a 360 up on this next corner here. Oh, yeah, it's a little tight. But I'll try. I'll try. And I'll flick it in hard. Like, this was my issue last time. No! I keep doing- I keep flicking it in way too hard. Like I said, Nick, this is gonna be a fail. Alright, Twitch chat. I'm gonna ignore you, and I'm gonna go for a lap with no distractions. And then I'll show you what I can do. It's like, when I focus, I have no issues driving. For the most part. Alright, here you go. Backwards. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's like a reverse 360. I'll allow that. <laughs> Even though it was a little unintentional. <laughs> My reverse got a little too reversey, And I just backed into the corner. Okay, don't go too hard this time. There you go. There you go. Not too hard. Not too hard. That was good. Good job, me. I don't know. If, if because the, the car is so light... Flicking it around, doing those 360s, the weight just doesn't really help stabilize the car as much? I don't know, I'm trying to think what would make sense. That revving is giving me an orgasm. Holy shit. Drifting at 120. There you go. 
See, if I don't try to do stupid shit, then I can do it just fine. As soon as I start to do stupid shit, then I have issues. Like, stupid shit. Don't go too hard. That's too hard. No! That's 720. Unintentional set. Fuck me! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Cool, Sylvia. I'm hard to drive. Your T3PA pedals and the TH8A shifter for quite some time now, and I thought after around a month of using them behind the scenes, I thought I would give my thoughts on them and tell you guys what 